Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. Um, I've only been in this space for about uh, nearly 18 months now. Uh, and first up, it did actually take a little bit of time to get used to the space, where the light came from, because I was in the same studio for 26 years. Uh, and you do really grow accustomed to the light, to the room, uh, and it does hold a very special place, um, especially in, in my heart it did. So, uh, but now, I'm in the new studio and it did actually take me a few paintings to really sort of get used to things but um, let, let's take you for a bit of a look around. I have my little um, fridge over here which actually isn't running at the moment but um, that's fine and I have a drying rack here for sort of painting so that I can store quite a few paintings. I've had a fairly fruitful year so far which is great. Uh, there's nothing like sort of getting some good paintings behind you and then adding to that as we go along. Uh, also, I do have uh, space in here to sort of put all the odds and ends, uh, my sort of nail gun to clip the paintings into the frames once they're done. I have um, uh, space down the bottom once the paintings are dry uh, and I need to then store them for sort of weeks or months uh, until that painting may sort of go out. I also have my collection of other artists. It's only a a few of them there. I do have other paintings in other areas, but uh, they're some of my prized possessions. It's always a great thrill and an honour to actually uh, swap a painting with another artist uh, and, then, and then being willing to, to actually swap as well. So um, also the, these are great because I can quickly take them off and have a quick look at what's behind uh, and really sort of be able to juggle and actually stall artwork uh, really well because we shouldn't put oil paintings into cupboards a dark space because that does encourage yellowing and um, a few other little problems too possibly cracking uh, but not with the archival oils which is great so I have my little um, bookshelf here from my previous studio I have actually scaled things down I really sort of just kept the essentials and just have a little drawing here as well which it's always great to have your drawing stuff and all your favorite little odds and ends as well. I've got sort of my street and albums and Edward Sago, uh, Richard Schmid and uh, my Pelé albums, which is always nice. Just have a flick through every now and then when you really want some inspiration. So there we come to my purpose-built um, easel. It really is just a standard easel that has the ratcheting system, uh, but I did uh, personalize it with the I think it's about four foot by four foot backing board I then cut the slots in so I have the center arm uh, so I, if I need to even personalize the height I can do that as well so I have my palette uh, I have a space down the bottom for rags and brushes and so I then have the brushes here medium at the top all the paint that I need on a glass palette which is about, I think, about six to eight inches thick, the palette. I've had it about 15 years now. And I just give it a scrape down once it really needs a cleanup. Um, so I have my monitor here that I can refer to. Uh, I actually hand built all of the scaffolding here. Uh, so this is all cantilevered. I couldn't really afford the space of a post there. So I had to come up with a little bit of fancy old carpentry there and thankfully I have the really good machines to be able to do that. Um, so as I'm painting away I can refer to the big monitor but then I also have the iPad here and so common where you may just want to be able to see say the flowers and the arrangement of those leaves and what's um, happening there and as you can see from the photo someone has actually hung out their dirty laundry um, which is now clean. Um, so yeah, then we have more um, space over here on the opposite side, but I have my paints in here, uh, my little old Havana um, cigar box, which I've had for over 30 years now, nearly 35 years. That was given to me as a present. I didn't actually smoke the cigars, but I have all the paints that I need, um, cutting implements for when I do cut my uh, panels up, so these are all really great storage spaces where there's nothing worse than having to have stuff all around. And then I have my collection of brushes, which these 
really uh, are very important uh, to keep them uh, nice and dry, out of the way, out of the possibilities of bending the uh, bristles as well. We do really want to keep them nice and um, well looked after. So they take pride of place there. Then I have a few just other little small boards and other little odds and ends, little bits of canvas that I may just do a little quick little study on. Uh, then we have yeah, more paintings there, uh, which are all sort of waiting to dry. These will stay here for probably anything up to two, three, even four months. Uh, even though after a month, I don't mind giving them a varnish if they need that with the fast drying mediums. Uh, I find uh, where previously years ago, the light areas, the white areas would take up to a month to dry, but within 24 to 30 hours, this painting is not fully dry, but it, it has skinned and dried. So actually the great thing is when you're painting plain air, if you need to travel, uh, you can actually uh, put the painting in my easel or a little carry box and they're pretty safe to dry. Uh, they're pretty safe, they're dry, and then you can travel as well. So I'll draw your attention over to here. This really is the brains of the whole um, studio. I have the ability to be able to lift this up if need be. So uh, this is the smaller uh, Mac and you'll probably sort of think, oh geez, why didn't I have a bigger one here? But this kind of works perfectly. So I'll have my Photoshop ready to go whenever I need things. This was a shot from the Christchurch trip uh, when we were in New Zealand. And I'm able to uh, crop, play with things, cut things out, uh, flip things, and uh, maybe even sort of redraw a little bit of the foliage if need be. Um, that's really marvelous to be able to use this right on my beck and call. And then I have all my files, which I do like to be fairly organized. So I'll then have all the information at hand. I can go from international photos through everything. I have probably 40, 50,000 images there now. Uh, so that gives me the ability to come in every couple of weeks or a month and I'll rifle through different uh, files and then I'll have a, a one folder, which is my sort of uh, reference folder. And it might have 50 or 60 images and for that month, they're the ones that I'll sort of go to instead of sort of walking in to the studio and thinking, oh boy, scratching the old head and thinking, what am I going to paint today? I'll go to that folder first and think, okay, these are the ones that I have given high priority. Um, so they'll be the ones that I go to first. Um, it just takes a lot of the stress, worry and concern out of a painting day, especially when you're working for an exhibition or you're trying to put some paintings together for a gallery. Uh, and you're working on a bit of a theme, uh, you don't have to sort of panic. Uh, but one of the things I have noticed is that sometimes I'll do a painting and I thought, oh geez, that came out great. Not that I want to go and do five of that scene, but uh, certain ideas just open up a whole room full of new ideas. So then I'll probably grab a few that I think, oh, that's right, I, I found something like that on the 2015 trip to Victoria or to, to Italy. So. Um, I think being organised is, is very important to me. Some artists sort of will work how they love to work, but for me, I, I don't have to be super neat, super clean, but definitely being organised to know, okay, I got a knife there, um, measuring tape there, everything is at my beck and call. I'm not sort of running around for half hour or an hour looking for something, sticky tapes there, everything's in its place. So I think for me, and I think really these days, you have to be so organised because there's so much more social media. Uh, I do my own picture framing as well. So any of the paintings that you've seen framed on the walls are frames that I've made personally to fit uh, that individual piece. Um, so that's uh, a little hangover from after my carpentry days when I was sort of a 19, 20 year old. That's when I learned to picture frame, but it has come in good use over the years as well. So I think that's about it. We've um, had a great look through the whole studio. Um, I have really excellent lighting. Uh, if anything, maybe a little too good of a lighting. Sometimes you have to dodge a little bit of shine, especially when the paint gets wet. So thanks for coming in and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And also I hope you can uh, able to take something out of it as well. Some info that 
might um, uh, help you in your working day. So all the best. Bye for now. Thank you.